Mike Mentzer came out in the late 70s with uh, his heavy duty training system, which was much lower volume, very high intensity, and it was very, very different from the way that you and Arnold and Robbie and the champions for many years have been training, which was a lot higher volume and higher frequency. What did you think, or what do you think of that style of training, the Mike Mentzer system, where it's just a couple of sets? Yes. Actually, what I experienced in the gym, because they, you know, they trained in the same gym, Mike Mentzer and Ray Mentzer. Yeah. And as I saw them grow, because Mike Mentzer was a very good bodybuilder in the Women's City Universe, obviously. Yeah. I saw one thing that I didn't like as much, and that was the thickness came. It's much as but thick, really thick. But they were on the soft side, and that reminded me, hmm, I cannot do 25, 50 reps until exhaustion, that I have to train to light. Hmm. I have to do heavy weights to get the muscle like a rock. Yeah. I rather have little less muscle and more there because the way his approach was, was mass. Hmm. And mass, you, my problem was when you short, I'm short, yeah. And Mike Mensa wasn't that much taller either. Right. Immediately I thought, I cannot train like that. I lose my waist. I want the smallest waist I can think, number one. And then I want to pile the muscles on top. They have to look like granny, mm. not size. Size, you will have to gain six inches in height too, mm. to look in proportion. Yeah. So I was a little bit disagreeing with him on that. However, he did both. But he sold the booklets more with that system. But he did both in the gym. I remember that. Yeah. I mean, I've heard that Ray and Mike <laughs> did, did a lot more. Their training wasn't really that different from what you guys were doing. But it was the same. And I tell you why. Because we go to the gym, like, for example, Arnold and I usually used to go seven. We were there like seven, ten, ten minutes from the house. Yeah. From seven to nine, we trained, sometimes to ten. And then afternoon, another couple hours. When we trained from seven to nine, Mike Mensah was really there, and he never left until before I left. Wow, okay. So it cannot be that he only did his reps and he went home. He did more stuff. Hmm. Unless he was resting 20 minutes between every set or something like that, right? 